was the day before Christmas, and all through the stores, last-minute shoppers crowd the floors. You always get like, not lazy, but you know, you always have to buy some last-minute things, and this is the day to do it. So what are these procrastinators buying, you might ask? Some jewelry and uh, like these earrings, which are for me actually, and this is for my aunt. Uh, some lotion and they give me one special special offer and they give me another gift, extra gift, but this is good. I get the two lotion for the price of one. It's really good. Uh, outdoor stuff for my daughter and probably some some cologne. <laughs> I still have to shop for That's why I'm here because this is Cologne City. It's going to be a long day of shopping. Tiffany Smith has a particularly long list to cross off. I left it all to the last minute and I'm so ashamed to say it, but I did. Then there are shoppers like Zulnira Torres, who got stuck shopping on Christmas Eve because her online orders didn't come in on time. How many more people do you have to shop for today? For today, it's about 10 people. Yes, 10, yeah. And perhaps these shoppers won't find that ideal gift in a time crunch, but when it comes to Christmas, it's the thought that counts. Of course, retailers are welcoming these last minute shoppers after a nasty snowstorm and a bad economy has already put a damper on Christmas shopping this year. So any last minute gifts these shoppers can squeeze in, these stores are thankful for. In New York, Bonnie Ghosh, The Associated Press.